Drivers, are you sick and tired of minors getting on that Uber app trying to get a ride? In this video, I'm going to share how you can get their accounts deactivated, and it's not hard. Uber already has a process for this, but surprisingly, they're not sharing that with drivers. Could it be that Uber values riders money at your expense? Naturally, you're going to receive the tiny cancellation fee for your efforts. The cancellation fee doesn't fully compensate you for your time, vehicle wear, nor for that missed opportunity of at least taking a valid ride. But at least you're protecting your livelihood and keeping minors off the platform. Your livelihood is far more valuable than pay from any unaccompanied minor ride. In this video, I'm going to also share how you can handle declining unaccompanied minors' rides to ensure the rider remains safe while remaining professional at all times. Finally, I'm going to cover some problems that Uber just refuses to fix. Consider this. If ride sharing was so simple, why won't Uber and Lyft just let anyone ride? Hello and welcome. My name is Russ. I've previously driven rideshare for both Uber and Lyft for a couple years, and I've been doing gig work part-time since late 2018. I am eager to help you remain as safe as possible when you're working, which is why I made this video. I also help you make the most you can and protect your job with high ratings and by documenting your deliveries to prove you did your job well. You've likely heard of Uber's official Uber Teen program, where parents give permission for unaccompanied teens to take Uber rides. This sounds nice on the surface, but when has Uber ever done anything beneficial for the driver? Are you going to receive more pay? Are you going to be covered by insurance should you have an accident? And who's going to pay your legal fees when parents sue you after believing they're lying teenager? No matter what Uber's going to do in the future, any form of rides for minors is just unsafe for all involved. Plus, you're risking your livelihood and freedom. More on that later. Unaccompanied minors on rideshare platforms, it's nothing new. It's been going on for years, and it's still going on. Once drivers become aware of these risky rides, many still accept them. Just because some drivers do it doesn't mean it's okay or a good idea. Some drivers also allow more passengers than seat belts, babies and toddlers without car seats, and open alcohol containers. Think you get the idea. So let me show you how to get those miners' accounts deactivated. I want to thank Junior so much for sharing this info with me in the screenshots. I'll add a link to the video description and at the end of this video so you can watch it. First, let's take a look at an approved Uber Teen unaccompanied minor trip request. You can see it says teen. Next, let's take a look at the ones that you need to deactivate. As you can see, this rider's account looks like an adult's account. If a rider looks young, just ask them, how old are you? And then follow up and ask, what year were you born in? Naturally, an adult's going to know this information and they're going to have an ID to show you. Here are the steps to have the account flagged for deactivation. In the app, go to help. Then go to Trips, select the trip you're reporting, select Feedback About Rider, select Safety Concern, and then report a safety issue by scrolling down to Other Issue. Here it says Tell Us More. Put the feedback in the box and you can just type Unaccompanied Minor or Adult Ordering for Unaccompanied Minor and then hit Submit. Uber's then going to send you a general email response letting you, the driver, know that they're going to review the claim. The driver also gets their cancellation fee during this process. Uber is supposed to investigate the active Uber account by putting the account on hold and then sending that Uber account holder request proving that they're 18 years or older. So they need to get an ID and prove it. Then they'll remove the hold off the account. If not, it remains deactivated. Now, here's some screenshots that you can see what the rider's going to get after you report them. As you can see, Uber is firm but fair. Riders must adhere to the terms of service. If there's an error, then the rider can submit their ID and Uber's going to restore the account. So drivers, please do your part to keep these unaccompanied minors off the platform. Now that we've covered how to get their accounts deactivated, 
Let's discuss how you can remain professional and inform the miner that you're canceling the ride. Unaccompanied miners are actively trying to get rides and most likely parents are aware of this fact. So don't feel bad canceling the ride as the miner can call a parent to come get them. Based on my experience with unaccompanied minor rides, I am always astounded that parents would place the safety of their children in the care of a perfect stranger. You can recommend the minor calls a parent or even a taxi for a ride or call the police if it's an emergency or potentially dangerous. <laughs> here are the problems that Uber's not going to fix. As you can see here, Uber has no age vetting process when a person downloads the app. And with kids having smartphones, they just have to say, I agree, and then they can get on the app. Once they're on the app, then they just add in a payment method and back it up with an ID of someone 18 years or older, and then kids can order rides on their own. Another problem, parents, guardians, older adults, they don't use Uber for teen for their kids. They just use their own personal Uber account to order rides for minors. And what happens is you drive towards the house looking for Maria, but a little kid comes to your car saying, my mom Maria ordered the ride therefore expecting the driver to pick up the kid under Maria's account. This is such a serious safety issue. With sex and human trafficking on the rise, combined with drivers who don't know or don't care, thereby contributing to the crisis, Uber just simply doesn't have a vetting process. Now, Uber and Lyft know this is a problem, but they can avoid responsibility. How is this? They just say, you're not allowed to do this in the terms of service. And they know full well that some drivers are violating the terms of service. If a driver picks up a minor and nothing happens, then Uber and Lyft never knew about it. Now, if something does happen with a minor, then the driver's at fault. Uber and Lyft will abandon the driver. Rideshare companies turn a blind eye to this serious safety issue because they can make money no matter what. So again, if ride sharing was simple, why won't Uber and Lyft just let anyone ride? The answer is that they know minors are a liability, but they let the drivers, the parents, the minors take that gamble. This gets into what I mentioned earlier. Drivers are risking their livelihoods and freedom giving rides to minors. What is that all about? Well, find out here and also watch Junior's video.